right by the pyramids. We're actually walking down trying to find a decent place to get some food or something and and there isn't. It's just, uh, it's what you see. It's, it's just this. Uh, Harga is, is much, much better than this. So, stop in here. We're gonna get a little bit of coffee and then continue on down. Uh, probably gonna go see, it's nice enough, so we're probably gonna go and see some pyramids. The vehicles here are great, they're wild. Look at this one. My favorite of the Toyota, Toyota Helixes. These are all the buses that you can take for three, which is 10 cents. So you take them for 10 cents, they're just like almost random people. It's, uh, I mean, you see that's most of the vehicles actually. And uh, 10 cents. Oh, what do we got here? An Egyptian coffee. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's still hot. Okay. Let's have some coffee. Go explore some more. By the way, not telling anyone I'm American anymore. That's not working out. So, I'm officially just Czechoslovakian. Okay, here's one of the wild police cars that they stuff people in. Oh no, that looks like one for the cops. But one of the craziest things I've seen was one of the police cars. Like a paddy wagon and just people in their cage and their faces up against the cage. Like a lot of, lot of stray dogs around. And they're mostly friendly. Not all the ones we ran into last night. But uh, saw the pizza place across the corner here. So we're going to go have some pizza. So it looks like the moon, but it's actually the sun. It's just uh, about to go down and uh, get the haze here. So okay, we're downtown near Cairo. Tupac. Alright, starting to get dark here, so this is where the streets turn into the thriller video. Thriller! Alright, just got back, we got our food here. So you remember how you asked me if I uh, that gave me some toilet paper? The one thing people need to watch out for is there is no toilet paper in the toilets. I said, uh, how much toilet paper should I give you? You asked me first, do you line the seat? I said, of course I line the seat. Well. Be prepared also for the toilets not having a seat. <laughs> and going to three different toilets because they didn't have a lock either. <laughs> and right, so let's see what we got. I got a hamburger, kind of shawarma type of thing. Oh, looks good. Crispy, these are like crepe type of things. We got a, uh, what do you got, chicken? Uh, no, sausage. no, that's yours. You got sausage. You got sausage. This one's well, mine. That looks like, oh, it is, okay. It's oh, I got you. All right, we're down to eat. These things are delicious, crispy, and sure to give you diarrhea. <laughs> Free diarrhea with every meal. Actually, going to a, another hotel we found on booking.com. Uh, it's not super late night, but it's already dark, and yeah. See how kind of shady this whole thing is. So when you're on booking.com or these sites and you're getting a hotel room for seven eight dollars a night kind of expect something like this can't really see anything right I mean it's dark yeah it looks like this maybe there's maybe a little further washing machine in there that's what that screw lighting is and I can't even see down the street here. But this is... Uh, this guy's trying to help us. Not bad for an $8 room. Not good either.
Which one is cool today? Allah? So the camels down there and the horses, those are the ones that they actually use when they take people to the pyramids. You can see how close we are to the pyramids. You can see the wall right there. And we stayed there for a couple days. We had to leave. The room was crazy how messy it was and everything. And we had a roommate who was a Wagner mercenary who kept drinking and asking me to hang out with him. And another guy that woke up and had bed bugs, sores all over him. And really the main thing was uh, that alley late at night. Coming back to the room, um, you know, sometimes there'd be people there and they'd ask, oh, you know, where are you guys from? And we'd say America and get some really evil looks. So we had to change that answer. So we're just walking along and... And the cop is leaving. But uh, if you see here down on the ground, it looks like they just started undigging some kind of agricultural thing. Here's the house we stayed. I can see up the top there. Right there. Yeah, he's definitely coming up to us. But uh, this looks like an, a dig here that's like recent. It's, I don't know, it goes up towards the pyramids. I'm just coming through here. Just finding this kind of, I don't know, but it's beautiful. Oh, there's a little shack right there. But like, man, look at how beautiful these buildings once were. And it's all kind of in shambles now. Yeah, one in the afternoon, even this is the main market, almost like a hypermarket, but even that's closed, one in the afternoon. It's also Thursday, which is their big day. It's uh, Thursday, Friday is like their weekend. Good. So you're walking down one of the sides and these abandoned buildings. People are kind of staying in, makeshift. People setting up, you know, couches and things. I don't really know what's going on with construction or non-construction until they got rebar set up. You know, if you're in construction, they got bricks and stuff set up. But I don't really see people working here. And then further here, okay, we're at the best pizza place here again. And I uh, asked the guy, can you make, this is for 100 so it's about $3. That's including a 30% tip. Can you make six of them, three with no cheese? And three with uh, regular, just with extra stuff. So, got our own little custom pies here coming up. And the thing with Nutella. Uh, yeah. And this is the pizza place name. Okay, just got our wrapped up in this paper. So fresh, you can see the pepper. Look at how flaky that pizza is. Ooh wee. Wow. Yeah, and these are uh, 10, what's that, 30 cents, 33 cents, something like that. Tomatoes, peppers, everything. Okay, so we're heading back to the main road here. While we were uh, waiting for the Muslim prayer to end so we can get a pizza, uh, his family came up to us, cute little girls. They really want to take a picture of us. They had never seen white people before, or backpackers or nomads, I don't know. So, I don't know, we were just talking to them and talking to a guy that stopped and was speaking to us and he was uh, asking us if he could buy us dinner and stuff and we said no, no. He said, well, please come by for some tea. So, I'm gonna stop by and just have a conversation with a... I think this is our friend right here. Hey, yeah, British Adam. No, no, just eating. Oh, no, we we had six pizzas. We had six pizzas. But no, eat what you like. In I pizza. can't, I can't, can't. Here, this is for no, you. No, no, I Yes. I, we eat we six. Got we got it just for you. Okay, thank you. We can't <laughs> eat anymore, though. But we'll have some uh, tea. Please welcome. My cousin here, Antonio. Assalamualaikum. Hey. How are you doing? Come on. 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 Come on.
In back. It's very hot. Oh, wow, he has a big shot. Yeah. Big shot. So these are the shops. A lot of perfume stuff. I guess he's probably going to try to sell us. But I mean, he was trying to take us to a restaurant. You see, he didn't pay for everything. Man, look at all this stuff. What a gorgeous shop. This is the upstairs, the ceiling. Holy crap. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna have some tea and conversation. And this turned out to be a scam. Uh, basically is pretending to be friendly. This happened to us a second time also in front of the pyramids uh, where someone invited us in and you end up in a perfume shop and the same exact story of their family has been doing this and selling it for generations and they're the best and uh, same trick using the match to show you that it's not alcohol and that it's actually 100% perfume and oil and uh, start off with some crazy prices and large volumes and then they go down and down as you keep saying no, no, no. Okay, back to Hargada, nearby Pyramid. So what we're gonna do is wait for a bus, ticket to the end, these mini buses, and uh, 10 cents instead of taking a taxi or Uber. This one here is nice. There are lots of military helicopters and fighter jets flying in this. Okay, so we're in a whole separate part of town. We saw the Cairo Mall and uh, just figuring out what that's all about. So, this, so I think this is the mall here, Navy City. So uh, we're going to go in the mall here. Get to use the bathroom. This is not what I expected. Nothing's what I expected. That's okay. I was expecting a real like shopping mall. I had it on the map as a uh, like a real updated type of thing, but okay. I can go in here and check it out. Voila. Okay, got some pizza here. We're inside the mall. Not exactly what I expected. Pretty cool though. Get some stairs that uh, I'm not sure where they lead or doesn't look like they work. Perfume, toys, TVs, watches. Big perfume market here. Oh, looks like this is a rental thing. Bio kids. Oh, what's this? What is this? I saw some kids on skateboards here. Bones. Valentino. Oh, skate park. Well, something for kids to do at least. So there's the bottom floor. Look up, I don't think any of these elevators actually work, do they? Oh yeah, that one works. Most of them don't. But uh, there's the top. Looks like there's a cinema up there. But that's your uh, big mall in Cairo. Okay, on the next bus. Heading to Giza.
احنا مش كلنا ملايكه وشيوخ بس احنا بنفكر وبعدين عشان ربنا امر ولكن فانما الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين. We're in Giza. Uh, don't know where, but this market over here looks like it's got some something good. So when everything's like 10, 15, 25 cents, uh, you just you just go enjoy it. You don't have to worry about it. Someone's gonna rip you off. They're gonna rip you off, and you have to pay 50 cents. So what kind of uh, complaining can you have? Oh, it smells so sweet, like sugar. Yeah, cookies, all kinds of stuff. This is uh, one of the market streets also here. Very busy. We're, at, we're in Giza, but we're right next to uh, Cairo. That's a couch on his head. Okay, right over the bridge, this ride is 15. So there's Cairo. This is uh, Cairo. We're on the Cairo side now, finally. Yes, we found the demonstration for the Big M. So we're gonna go in here and I believe the ticket is five. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Fun! Okay. Again, crazy price. 16 cents. Four stops down to Nassar. And then to get our bus ticket. We're gonna go climb up there and cross over. 16 cents. Crazy. And look at this. This train is actually cleaner than the ones in America. There's a bunch of graffiti or nothing on it. Okay. Still waiting to cross, but goddamn. Sardines. I guess I gotta get ready for this when I go to India. But yeah, sardines in there. I don't know what's going on. Huh? I didn't get touched. I think she blessed everyone and she's asking for money. I think that's the thing I'm not sure. I think we got off the wrong stop. Okay, just came out of the subway. Beautiful building here. Beautiful sunset. Uh, we, uh, good subway, nice and fast. So fast we missed our stop and went to the next one, but the GO bus station is kind of between the two spots anyway, so it wasn't even really worth turning around and going around. Uh, employees super healthy. Healthy? Helpful. I think the water here is getting to me. So uh, we're going to take a walk down to the GO bus station and just buy the ticket now. We're going to leave at 9 p.m., but you know what? We're going to enjoy ourselves more and just get the 11 o'clock. So, also this beautiful building here. All right, we're going to start walking towards Denial. Denial? Denial. Ooh, craziness. Cops over there with AKs. What's going on? Across the, uh, here under the bridge. Selling all kinds of stuff, gotta go through their clothes. Wow. I shouldn't have showed that. So we're just about here at the GO bus station. But uh, I just saw this view and decided, oh, people's house is here. How's it going to call it that? But uh, 
Yeah, this is Cairo. The other side of it now. Seems a little more modern. If you, uh, we watched some videos on uh, Cairo and stuff, and it's just exploded in terms of the population. And government has a lot of money and power, so they're trying to build a new city, a uh, new Cairo. And uh, it's all just, it's all just too much here. This is so overpopulated. It's, I don't think I've been in a city this big. And uh, obviously I've been, you know, all through New York City and the boroughs and all that. And that goes for a long time, but this is, this is another level. Well, it's almost sunset, so we took a later bus, and of course, I can't miss a good sunset, so walking up this bridge illegally, if we don't die, hope we can see a nice sunset. Well, this is the Nile through Car, uh, where are we? Cairo. Cairo, Giza. Alright, down. There's this boat. And I think we're about to sneak onto it. On the Nile River. Aha! So it looks like we're right on the Nile. It's like a whole restaurant and it's more of a. Not too much of a boat. I think the boat's actually grounded. That's sick. Oh, chilies. All right, getting ready to head back. Went across the uh, the Nile River here, and there was a great restaurant over there. It was like on a boat at a Starbucks for the first time in Africa. Got toilet paper. That was nice. So we're a little bit away from our go bus. And uh, we're going to try to find some food. we got 20 minutes left. So we're going to play the uh, Egyptian Frogger game. Try to cross this road. It's not too bad right now. Get some food. Get on the bus. Oh, another tip. Uh, not too many places buy alcohol. It's all super overpriced. There's a place called Drinkies. So Google Drinkies. And then you can go there. And the thing to get there is... They don't tell you about it, you have to know it. So you have to tell them you want the cheap Egyptian rum. And it's only 100 which is about $3 for a big bottle. Mix that with Coke, and you walk around. You can't really walk around with beer and stuff like that. So um, you go there, you get a Coke, and then you pour the rum in it, and you can walk around. Not that I would ever condone that or do that myself. Not me. You maybe, not me. In the back of the bus. Pro tip, check the, um, check the bus online to see what seats are still available. The seats in the back here are still available. So this is a six hour overnight flight. And if we can actually lay down across the back, oh, that's the best. 